Can I speak to Rachel? A uh, doc says first thing tomorrow morning she'll be cleared. I'm gonna speak with the caretaker that found her. Good thinking, pal. Hi, my name is Jaime Ceballos. I'm an actor and filmmaker. Said I don't know anything oh, about any girl. Oh my God, tell me where she is. I grew up here, I grew up in New York City, I grew up in Queens. I never thought of it as a viable career opportunity, but this is like going way back. I used to rent VHS tapes and I would just pop them in and I remember I would be copying everything that I just saw on this movie that I'd seen five times. So I was like memorizing monologues without realizing it. There was a, there was a big time where it was just like audition, going on auditions, audition. It, and, and going from that to, like for example, going to film school is one of the best things I ever did because not only did I learn how to direct and really sharpen the skills as a, as a writer as well, but I acted in over like 45 student shorts while I was there. And so you're really on the job training of like, where's your camera, where's your mark, hitting your beats. Once I started taking acting as a business, as opposed to just as a hobby and having fun with it and seeing where it goes, and that's where um, I started taking it serious and making money and, and you know, moving up in my career. A lot of people died under the Ferguson name to build this town. Clayton and Melissa were discovering something even beyond the case. Uh, the Summoning is actually a very fun movie that I got to do with Eric Roberts, a couple of very like up and coming actors right now who have a ton of credits. It's a thriller movie that takes place in Sugarland, Texas, but it deals a lot with burial sites in the slave era. My name is Carlos Castillo. Women can smell the money. In my case, I was a waiter. I have enough money to buy you a gyro or a slice of pizza. Mm, I think pizza. With anchovies. Mio and Five Bucks was a film that I got a chance to direct. I wrote the film. Initially, it was one of these actor-writer deals, but at the last minute, I wanted to direct and really fought for that. Uh, it stars myself, uh, also this girl named Angela Serafian, who's one of the leads on Westworld right now on HBO. It's, it's a fun movie. It's a, it's a romantic comedy, and so I wanted to make a film about the friends and, and the scene that I saw in New York and it's, it's a romantic comedy, but more of a, a, a dramedy, you could say. The one with the sister, Fat, Fat Anna. Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hooked up with Fat Anna. We put her in a turtleneck and she's a knockout. Yes, submit for everything. My name is Jaime Ceballos and I submit for everything. I submit for the Asian guy, because maybe they have a change of mind or just any ethnicity. And I think, you know, we limit ourselves and I was limiting myself at one point, like, going on commercials only for the Latino friend of the Latino dad. But I really gotta say, when my mind shifted, I was like, I think a very strong thing for actors, this is huge. And this is someone, whether we have bills or not, is the power of saying no. Well, I just turned down two films recently because of that stereotypical cliche with not a lot of thought to the project. So I, even though there's bills to be paid, I know, but the power of no, I think, is very strong for an actor. We have to own that, too, so.